What's he talking about? The warden wants to be in the Horizon Cup. I have come to. Wait a second. Referee here, Darren Drifter, bringing out a a box. Something's going on here. I, this is weird. I, the warden going to find out what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in there? I, I can't get a clear look at it. Whatever it is, it's scaring the warden. I, I didn't think there was anything that could scare the warden, but what is it? Wait a second. Oh my gosh. That's Phage. That is Phage if I've ever seen it. Is that who the warden's been speaking? Is that the voice we heard? Is that Phage? What I did to Derek Moss last week. See that? That's how you do things. Why can't we be on the same page like that? Why can't you do things like that? Mainly because you don't know how to do your job properly. Me? Yeah. What do you mean? Because it's your story behind. I lost my match against Harker. And you know what? <laughs> you know what? My fault. You're blaming me. Yeah, We're yeah. playing the blame game. Uh, who had Harker on the ropes? Huh? Who? I'm trying to help you. 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 you but you, you failed horribly. You punched me in the jaw. You failed horribly. I was probably going to punch you in the jaw anyway. Who's failed more? Hmm, let's see. Former UWC champion. Um, main evented and highlighted a lot of the main cards. What have you done? Ah, because of you, nothing. You keep talking about the past. What's done. What's over. We're in the now, man. And what have you done? You have scraped by. You're the one who called me. Let's not forget that. And you know what else? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why don't you say we quit playing the blaming game? You got Cause the it's first, your Hold on, hold on. You got a first round match, right? Yep. Go go get in the tournament. I am. Go get in the tournament. And then uh, maybe then, if you get in the tournament, maybe then I'll shut my mouth. Oh, maybe when, then when I get the, the blame the, game will get over. The, the only thing that I hope after I won this match is that one day our paths will cross during this tournament <laughs> and this fist is going to make sure you know exactly what every last one of your teeth tastes like. Okay. Then we'll talk after this match. Oh yeah, we are going to talk after this match. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good luck. Sorry, piece of garbage. Partner. up here on this edition of UWC Online Horizon Cup Tournament, Conrad one-on-one -on -one with Tornado Jones. Oh, face first into the ring there. Of course, this match is Conrad, but the all, there's always that X factor on the outside now of Bradley Dupree. You never know exactly what he's going to do. Stomping away now on Tornado Jones. Wait a minute, hooked onto his foot and he just got him with the other. Double axe handle across the back. The crowd here at the battle zone in full effect for Tornado Jones. Shot to the midsection, firing back now. Elbow to the face, pushes him in the corner. Reverses the Irish whip attempt, catches himself in the second rope. Just about went up and over, almost a little bit. Grabs onto that top rope. Conrad comes in, rolls through. Catches him around the neck. And a little whirly bird cyclone heads into takeover. Ducks underneath the lariat. Running into the corner, catches him, tosses him up, lands on the outside. Ooh! 
Good ring awareness on the part of Conrad right there with that forearm shot to the face. Tornado Jones has a count of 10 to make it back into the ring. Might want to watch out for Bradley Dupree. They're getting a little too close for comfort. Referee on five. Oh, look, exactly what I said right there. Bradley Dupree getting involved behind the referee's back. Oh, yeah, he did nothing. Conrad with the double axe handle to the back. Fans here at the battle zone not particularly on the side of the outlaw semi. Oh! Almost a vertical suplex neck breaker combination. His feet hit before the rest of them. Front face lock going to go for it again. There you go. Pitch perfect vertical suplex. Nice double leg drop could be it right here. He can advance in the tournament. Only a two count. Tornado Jones in the short time he's been here, he has been very impactful in his UWC online career. Oh, ducking out of the way. Almost Muhammad Ali style moves there on the part of Conrad. Tornado Jones is almost out on his feet. I'm not sure he knows where he's at right now. Wait a minute, ducks underneath it. Grabs a hold. Up and over. He got him. Oh, man. is not happy. The look on Bradley Dupree's face. I can't blame him. UWC Online is taking over the world of social media. Connect with all of our fans through the official Facebook page, facebook.com slash UWC Georgetown. Watch all the past and current episodes of UWC Online on our official YouTube page. Get late breaking news and notes when you follow at UWC Georgetown on Twitter. And check out the photographs and still shots from our world class photographer on our official Instagram page. UWC Online, a truly interactive experience. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at my, my list right here, and it says the Warden is supposed to be going against Marcus Smith. But I don't see the Warden. I see Phage. We haven't seen Phage in over a year here at UWC Online, and this is it's completely confusing. I don't understand it. Collar elbow tie up here. Wait a minute. Only gets a one count. We saw about a week ago... The warden opened up that box. He was presented a box in the center of the ring. And inside was, was the Mask of Phage. And of course, a couple weeks ago, we heard the mysterious voice over the loudspeakers talking specifically to the warden. And now all of a sudden, here's Phage in the ring going against Marcus Smith in the Horizon Cup Tournament. 
I'm, we're going to have to see where this leads to because I'm just completely befuddled right now. The science, Marcus Smith, trying to be on the offensive, but Phage here going back to it. Top wrist lock applied. Nice way to get out of that one. Marcus Smith likes to call himself the master of metabolism. Another top wrist lock applied. Very nice way to counter out of that does Marcus Smith and puts one on of his own. A little bit of chain wrestling going on. Side headlock. One of these men will advance in this year's Horizon Cup tournament, a huge 16-man tournament, the biggest we've ever had. Fage in the corner now. Marcus Smith going to get a running start. Oh! Just a straight clubbing blow to the face! Fage now picks him up, drives him into the corner, shoulders to the midsection. There's three of them. Crowd now trying to get into it for Fage. Running splash in the corner. The crowd here is as stunned as we all are seeing the reemergence of Fage. Once again, a wrist lock. Irish slip into the ropes. Marcus Smith counters out of it. Goes low, taking out the leg. Smart move there on Marcus. Stomp to the shoulders now. This would be a big coup in the hat of Marcus Smith if he could advance in the Horizon Cup tournament. Of course, the Horizon Cup tournament is very, very prestigious. Oh, Russian likes to using the hair for leverage. Hooks into a pin attempt. Only gets a two count. Oh, and back to stomping away. I started to say the Horizon Cup, very prestigious. So far in its two-year existence here at UWC Online, this is the third tournament of the last two years. The very first winner, Travis Weir. And of course, last year, current United Wrestling Coalition champion, Blake Reed. Rear chin lock. Fades trying to get the fans back into it. Marcus Smith looked like he was going to try and use that second rope. Elbows to the gut. Trying to fight out of it. Bounce off the ropes. Runs behind. Bounces off the ropes now. Very nice spinning jawbreaker. Marcus Smith holding on to that mouth. The money maker, as he likes to call it. Uh-oh. Running in. Kick to the face again. Full Nelson into a neck breaker. Fage gets it. Fage re-emerges, and now Fage has advanced in the Horizon Cup tournament with a victory over Marcus Smith. And Fage, I don't understand. Fage is grabbing his head. I mean, there's a battle going on inside that man's mind right now. That's what's called winning, huh? Are you in the tournament? Guess who it's? This guy. And you want to run your mouth and bury me down? Look who's in the tournament. Me. How, how was it out there? How was Tornado Jones? Oh, you're pushing. You are pushing. You are pushing real hard. Let me see if I can push a little harder. Can you beat Harker? Nope. Can you beat Tornado Jones? Nope. Can you win titles? Nope. Can you at least be here? No! Look, 
I'm getting real hey, sick of Hey, 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 both of you knock it off. Hey, you two. I'm fine. <laughs> you know what? Listen, listen. Keep what talking. You, Keep talking. What do you hate? What do I hate? Yes, what do you hate? I... I hate fat chicks. Oh, Jesus. How about you? What do you hate? Do you hate fat chicks? We'll talk about that later. I hate grits. Oh, my God. You need, guys, what do you hate more than anything? How about Harker? You both hate Harker, right? I really hate Yeah. So why don't you two get on the same page for once and go out there and show me how much you hate Harker and take it, your frustrations out on him. You know, Instead of each other. You know what? That sounds like a good idea. Because if exactly. this guy touches <laughs> me again, I may have to redirect the pitch. But yeah, I'll direct it now. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> This action, Jeff Harris, of course, a former multiple time tag team champion here at UWC with his tag team partner and team sexy Aaron Matthews. And wait a second. Wait a second. Conrad Cecil Cerveza coming out here. I don't understand what this is. I This is supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one contest between Harker Dirge and Jeff Harris. What are these two doing out here? Wait a second. This befuddles the mind, fans. I'm sorry, this match should have already been underway, but... I guess they're saying they're just coming out to be spectators. They just want to watch the match. I mean, that's that's admirable. Collar of a tie-up. Rolls them into a pin attempt here, going for it. Good ring awareness, grabs that bottom rope. As I started to say, Jeff Harris, we haven't seen him in a while. Former multiple time tag team champion and team sexy with his normal partner, Aaron Matthews. Side headlock now by Harker Dirge, takes him over. Cecil Cerveza and Conrad just watching on on the outside. Harker gets a one count. Fans continue to file in, wait a minute. Two count. Fans continue to file in here to the battle zone. Back to his feet. Tosses him into the ropes. Shoulder block. Parker Dirge all offense. Fans here cheering for Harker, but don't let that fool you. They have respect for both of the men currently in the ring at this time. Greco Roman knuckle lock, a test of strength. Parker Dirge has, I believe, has a little bit more power. He's got a little bit more weight on him than Jeff Harris. Feet. Whoa! Stomping on his hands. The whole time they're keeping an eye on Conrad and Cecil Cerveza. Still have no idea what exactly it is they're doing out here. Shows them into the ropes once again. Knee to the midsection by Jeff Harris. Into a roll-up. Could have it here. What an upset. Only a two count. Now he's putting on a side headlock of his own. Got him in the center of the ring. Good positioning there. Parker lifts him up. Atomic drop. Uh-oh. Backbreaker. Thought he was going to go for a pin attempt. He's going up to that second rope. Oh, hits him with the bomb. Two. 
Only a two count. And look at the way he popped back up. Pops right back up and takes a look to see where Conrad and Cecil Cerveza are at. He knows something's up here, just like we all do. Oh! Atomic drop on the part of Jeff Harris. Hits the ropes. Flying Lariat sends him down. Pin attempt here. Could have it. Shoulders up at two. Working over the arm now. Parker Dirge loves utilizing that DDT from all corners of the ring, especially the second rope. Working over the arm is a smart move. Fans of the battle zone chanting for Harker Dirge. Shot there by Jeff Harris, sends him down, stomping away. As much as you hate to say it, it's a smart move. Wait a minute, pin attempt. Two count. Rear chin lock applied. It is a smart move when you get Harker down on the ground to stay on him because if Harker gets back to his feet, you don't know what's gonna happen next. And that's exactly what he's trying to do right now. Harker Dirt's fighting to make it back to his feet. Shots to the gut, bounce off the ropes. Overhand clubbing blow to the back. Release gut wrench suplex. Still only gets a two count. Stomping a mud hole in the corner. Conrad on the outside with his arms up, saying he's not getting involved. Misses with a splash. European uppercut. Pin attempt, hooking both legs, but still couldn't keep him down. Cecil Cerveza trying to showcase dancing skills on the outside, apparently. This match has been competitive since the very beginning between these two men. Once again, shots to the midsection, trying to fight out of it, does Harker. Oh, but Jeff goes head first into the top turnbuckle. Harker catches himself. Oh, and Harris goes first. Uh-oh. Nine shots, but Harris gets out. Atomic drop once again. Oh, did you hear the sound of the shot? He just clubbed him in the face. Forearm shot, Irish whip out of the corner. Charges in, into a boot from Jeff Harris. Out of the corner, Bulldog to the floor. Leg drop to the back of the head, face first into the pin attempt. Still only gets a two count. What's it gonna take to put Harker Dirge away? Harker using the ropes to gain his mobility back. Harris gonna Irish whip out of the corner. Harker reverses it. Dives in with that elbow. Off the ropes, hooking Lariat. There he goes. Knee drop, right to the sternum. Harker's feeling it. It's about that time, he's ready to put him away. Spine buster, wait a second. Cecil Cerveza's up on the ringside. Cecil Cerveza, he's goading Harker on. He's saying, come on, shot to the face. Wait a minute. Conrad on the other side. Conrad on the other side. Sent down to the floor. Watch out, Cecil's in the ring. See, oh no. I knew this was bound to happen from the moment those two walked to the curtain. They weren't out here to just watch. 
Doug Conrad going to work on Jeff Harris. Cecil's got Harker in the corner. What? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Big reversal sends them head first into each other. What is going on here? Harker's going to win the match by disqualification, but... Understand this. Cecil still wants to fight, and Harker's saying, Bring it on. I think they're going to do this again. They're trying to flank him on both sides. Cecil Chavesa and Conrad are out here doing this. I don't understand. Cecil's got a microphone? I, is he looking for one? I, he's looking for something. Oh, Harker's got the microphone. We're going to hear some words here. No! Cerveza and Conrad didn't get enough of Harker Dirt the last few weeks in a row. Well, I'll tell you what. I came here tonight for a challenge. And this man right here, Jim Harris, was giving me one great challenge. That he did. But now, because of these two, being polite. Who really, really are, really, really are, as dumb as they look, wanted to get involved in my business and your business. I'll tell you what. Why don't we come back another time and make this a tag team match? Ho, 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 ho. I'm all for that. So you guys, Your lawyer slash trainer slash brains because you're dumb. And you work up a strategy. And then we'll have a tag team match. Challenge issued for a oh, tag team yeah? for that. Ladies and gentlemen, I sure hope we can get this, this tag team match signed so we can actually have this match. It's going to be fantastic. Thank you very much for watching this edition of PWC Online. Tune in for more action in the coming days.